For additional information regarding risk related to forward-looking statements contained herein, go to http forward slash forward slash www.southerncompany.com forward slash legal forward slash home dot cshtml. The DOE loan guarantees discussed in this video are conditional. Final approval and issuance of these additional loan guarantees by the DOE cannot be assured and are subject to the negotiation of definitive agreements, completion of due diligence by the DOE, receipt of any necessary regulatory approvals, and satisfaction of other conditions. Welcome to Vogel Timeline, our quarterly report bringing you up to date on the latest news here at the Vogel 3 and 4 site near Augusta, Georgia. On August 31st, Georgia Power filed a recommendation with the Georgia Public Service Commission to continue construction of Vogel Units 3 and 4. The project's co-owners, Oglethorpe Power, MEAG Power, and Dalton Utilities all supported the recommendation. The recommendation is based on the results of a comprehensive schedule cost to complete, and cancellation assessment. Mark Rockhorse, Executive Vice President for Vogel 3 and 4 Construction, held a large site meeting the morning of the PSC filing to announce the news to everyone on the site. Southern Company and all the co-owners have recommended that we proceed with the construction of Vogel 3 and 4 and get it done! We recently spoke with Mark to find out more about the announcement and what that means for the project moving forward. So after a significant amount of review by the co-owners, the Georgia Board and the Southern Board, where we presented information about what we thought it was going to take to complete Vogel's Unit 3 and 4, proud to say that uh, the information that we presented, the thought that went into that, the teamwork, and all the individuals that focused on putting those documents together gave the co-owners and the boards confidence in the team that we've established and the path that we presented going forward for the project. We've now exceeded 40 million hours, safe hours, without a lost time accident. Truly a remarkable accomplishment for all of the individual workers here on site. So I really take my hats off to the craft workers that are here and all the dedicated professionals, men and women, that are working here every day to make Vogel a success. So on top of the safety performance, we've been able to increase productivity here on site. Over the last three months, we've been able to show all the folks, both internally and externally, that we can do this project. Productivity improvements start at the craft level, start with the individual worker, and not only have we been able to continue to increase our safety performance, but the productivity here on site has given folks the confidence necessary for us to proceed and move forward. As we made the decision to continue with the construction of Vogel 3 and 4, part of that was the transition to a new contractor. Uh, after much deliberation and much review, we made the decision to move with Bechtel going forward with the project. So that transition process from floor to Bechtel is underway right now. I can tell you that that transition is going very well. Uh, we're getting very good cooperation by all parties, the building trades, floor, as well as Bechtel. So I'd like to thank not only everyone here on the site and on the project, but the co-owners, the boards, and everybody that's helping make Vogel a success. Truly, this is a team effort. It involves a tremendous amount of work by everyone each and every day. And the confidence that everyone has showed in us and our ability to move forward really has given us the opportunity to help make this project successful. Thanks, Mark, for that update on the path forward for the Vogel 3 and 4 project. Just recently, Georgia Power received the first payment from Toshiba for the new units. The $300 million payment is a significant step towards meeting their $3.68 billion parent guarantee obligation. Georgia Power also received additional loan guarantee commitments from the U.S. Department of Energy, with a total of more than $5 billion in anticipated DOE loan guarantees 
Georgia Power expects to be able to provide more than $500 million in present value benefits to its customers. While the board's decision was being considered, work continued at a steady pace here at the site. In August, the first steam generator weighing in at 1.4 million pounds and measuring 80 feet long was lifted into the Unit 3 nuclear island. Each new AP1000 unit at Plant Vogel requires two steam generators, all of which are currently on site. The steam generators were fabricated in South Korea and transported to the site from the port of Savannah by a specially built rail car. July and August saw the two accumulator tanks placed inside the Unit 3 containment vessel. Each unit requires two tanks, which are part of the passive cooling system for the AP1000 technology. A concrete placement lasting more than 75 hours recently took place in Unit 3 containment. This placement, consisting of nearly 2,000 cubic yards of concrete, supports installation of various components, including the next steam generator and the pressurizer. In Unit 4, 430 cubic yards of concrete was placed in containment. The six-hour pour allows for the panels that will make up the accumulator room walls to be placed. Georgia Power and Plant Vogel continue to make a big impact in the community. The Neighborhood Renewal Program recently awarded four students from Burke County, Georgia with scholarships as they pursue their college careers. All four of the awardees are enrolled in STEM, science, technology, engineering, mathematics related fields, and were chosen by local leaders and citizens. The scholarships were formally presented to the students during a dinner held in Waynesboro. We recently spoke with Demonica Jackson, one of the scholarship recipients, about her plans for the future. Neighborhood Renewal is basically an opportunity for young people, mostly people graduating out of high school or their first year of college, allowing them to be able to expand their horizons in the STEM program and allowing them to be able to be supported by their community back home. I've been involved with Georgia Power since I did Energy Academy in the eighth grade, and then I did Magic Camp my following high school years, which was a construction camp based for high school age girls. My mom became a rigger a couple years ago at Plant Vogel 3 and 4, and she informed me on all the opportunities that are available at Plant Vogel and in Georgia Power. Well, I began studying electrical engineering after I did Magic Camp and I was taking construction in high school and I did SkillsUSA and these other STEM oriented programs that allowed me to find out my career path because I wanted to do electrical wiring and I was like, no, nah, that's not for me. I want to go into something a little bit different, do electrical engineering, something with innovation. And I started minoring in nuclear engineering because I live like 10 minutes away from Plant Vogel. Like way back when I first toured Plant Vogel, we went to the control room and I was like, that's what I want to do. But ultimately after, Hopefully settling in with Georgia Power, that's, fingers crossed, that's what I want to do. I want to return to Burke County and be able to help students who actually are in single parent households. And because I lost my father 10 years ago this November, and I want to be able to help students who are less fortunate than those who are in dual parent households. Thanks so much to Monica, and good luck with your future plans in the nuclear industry. Well, that's all the news we have time for today. Thanks for joining us as we share the latest updates here at the Vogel 3 and 4 site. We look forward to keeping you updated on this project and seeing you next time here on the Vogel Timeline Report.